Hello, fellow YouTubers. Today we're going to unpack something in the war room that has nothing to do with guns. It's more of an engineering thing. Uh, I'm working on some things for work, some prototype work, and one of the things we're looking at getting into is 3D printing. You've heard it all over the news. People are 3D printing receivers for their weapons. Don't know if I want to get into that uh, because of what I print in is either going to be PLA or ABS, which are not good for uh, impact. But to get our feet wet, uh, we wound up ordering this. This is from 3D Systems. It's their cube. Um, it is a uh, 3D printer that uses either PLA, which is a corn-based biodegradable plastic, or ABS, which is anal styrene, which is a derivative of a plastic that's used from everything from model airplanes to car dashes to your vacuum cleaner. It's a good all-around general purpose plastic. Uh, again, this is the 3D Systems Q. Uh, it comes in like five delicious colors. Uh, I just happened to pick the silver because it's the one that was in stock. It's, uh, as you can see from the picture, it's got a printing station or a printing platform that's heated. Uh, it's a five and a half by five and a half by five and a half Q is the max that this does. And that's what you find at this price point. This is well under $2,000. Uh, you start getting into something that's say 10 by 10 or bigger, then you're talking some bucks. However, 3D Systems makes another one called the Cube X that is about the size of this box and can print up to a basketball size, and it's still relatively inexpensive. It's three thousand dollars, which you go, oh my god, three thousand dollars? Well, go buy a lathe. You know, a, a good CNC lathe starts at 80 grand, and you go up. Uh, Manual lathes are a lot cheaper, but again, if you're looking for a computerized design. Um, or a CNC mill for that matter. I'm not talking some of the cheap jet ones, but like a Haas or, you know, Morisaki or something like that. You're talking, you know, five digits. You know. Um, so anyway, here's the quick unboxing. This is, again is a 3D Systems Q uh, 3D printer. Ta-da! First, first opening, let's see here, and that's what the printer looks like. This is the print head, this is the platform, this is where the little platform tray goes. Uh, let's see, and that, there's a lot of stuff in the bottom, I'm just going to set it off to the side. That is the printer, that's it, that's the complete printer. It uses wireless or a USB thumb drive in the side here or wireless to, to do your printing. Um, and it prints, let's see, I've got extra um, printing media that I ordered. See, there's the software running now. I designed a simple roller with a hex uh, ID and a, a set screw hole through the uh, outside to the uh, IOD to the ID so you can set it once it's installed. And of course, I need something to open this with. So, I'm just going to rip it sideways. This one is the red PLA. Or maybe not. <laughs> it's being mean to me. No feedbacks about my crappy ass opening. Of course, I ripped it the wrong way. That was a lot of work to get to this stupid thing. Anyway, as you can see, it's a cartridge, just like an ink cartridge. You pull out the pen, you slide it in here, it sits in this little uh, plane like that. Just like an inkjet. Here's the uh, the ribbon or the inkjet, but here's the PL, the uh, plastic. Comes through here, goes in the top. Very simple, very easy, as Chef Tell would say. Um, so anyway, that's the quick unboxing. I have to go and register it, like anything else nowadays. You have to register the software, register the printer, and then once I'm done registering it, I can set up the ad hoc network and start printing. Which again, I'm going to print. Pardon me, that. And there's several other things you can print with it. I think it's inside the box here. Bump. Uh, 
let's see, 25 free creations. And again, this is more towards geared towards the home. So there's like, you know, iPhone cases and bracelets and rings. And on the bigger ones, you can print shoes out. Yes, I said shoes. High heel fashion shoes. Not my mug looks like I wear. So there's the uh, quick opening, quick unboxing. Uh, 3D printer, 3D systems. Uh, these run about $12.99 retail. Um, I got the print pack. It was like $13.99, but it came with three extra packs of these, of the uh, plastic. Uh, again, that's the red. Uh, this is blue ABS. And this is the white PLA. And there's some green ABS in the box, I think, or green PLA, I haven't looked. So the difference is ABS is a very strong material. The PLA is a very finished material. It's very smooth. So I get to play with both and see which one works. And that's all I got. I'll have another follow-on video of some of the stuff that I've printed out because, you know, like my kids, they can't wait. i got to beat them off of it because this is for work. But, uh, so that's all I got. This is Jay Under Pressure 3D Systems uh, 3D Printer uh, Unboxing. I'll let you know later how it works. Thanks and have a great night.